welcome to next edition of H. Paul Models. I went shopping to Aldi the other day and I happened to be passing the um, Middle Isles and uh, I come across one of these. So I thought, not built a tank in a while, let's crack on. Okay, let's start with the hole. I really must get another tube of this <laughs> before my stuff to run out. Oh dear, I've had it for years. It's done me proud. I mean, a kit did come with glue, but I like the Revel stuff. It's just so nice to use. Come on, in you go. Oh, crikey. I'm laughing because uh, it's very well moulded, but my hands seem to have a mind of their own at the moment. <laughs> I can't seem to get the mould lines to line up. Oh dear, there we go, that's in, I think. Yep, that's in. Right, we'll let that set and we'll do the next set. The next step, I mean. Carrying on with the hole. A bit of a squidge of the gloop there. I must admit, this took a bit of working out which way this went, but <laughs> we're there now. I'll stick that on there like that. The detail on it is, um, well, it's amazing. Really impressed with that. So this bit goes. Oh, quick check of the destructions. Like that. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful bit of kit. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's very nice. And the next bit. disaster. <laughs> I was trying to be clever and slick then. <laughs> there we go. That piece is on. That's a very nice finish. Won't be when I've painted it. <laughs> Clumsy clot. There we go. That one to there. A small disaster averted. Make sure all these bits are lined up. Hmm. That's a very nice fit actually at the moment. Very good. It's come to the point where I've got to do the initial painting. So the base colour, according to the instructions, is Home Roll 159. Now I haven't got this in a dropper bottle, I've got it in a starter pot. And I just want to show that you can use this paint through an airbrush, 
despite what everyone says on Facebook and other chat things. Yes, it is a bit gloopy. I'm not going to say it's not. But what you can do, with a little bit of ingenuity <laughs> and patience, is using two products, airbrush, you know, that's Humbrol's own thinner, and a bit of airbrush flow improver. All I tend to do is add a few drips, like that, from the flow improver, a few drips from the thinner, give it a damn good stirring, just get that all mixed in. You can see the consistency change as I'm doing it. And then, when it's ready, put it into an airbrush and spray away. It's a 159, thinned with a few other bits and pieces in it. It's in the airbrush. Better turn it on, I suppose. Take it to a, about, 50, about 15 psi. And off we go. So there you go, one model painted with the pot 159 that came in the starter kit or gift set or whatever they call it. Yeah, not a bad finish either. Quite happy with that. The hole's done as well. And the good thing about starter pots is the paint dries really, really quickly. <laughs> you can move on to the next bit. Fitting the uh, track wheels now to the Cromwell. They're a lovely tight fit. I'm not going to bother to glue them. They're just going on nice and easy. So that's, uh, that's a boom. <laughs> on we go. Five aside. Very nice. Road wheels are all on. I've had to use a bit of scalp lidge and a bit of nail filage to get the track drive wheels looking halfway sensible. So I'm just going to touch up the paintwork on them with a bit of 53 and then uh, we can fit the tracks. Okay, putting the tracks on. Now I'm wondering <laughs> if this is the bit where it's all going to fall apart. <laughs> Having done tank tracks before, and it's always been a bit of a disaster. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I've got an idea. I might have positioned these a bit better, so I'm quite pleased I didn't glue them yet. See if we can't get this on. Oh, 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 looks like it might be on a winner. Oh, oh, maybe I spoke to you, yeah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> this is why I generally don't build armor because I'm not good at it. Oh, but it's fun. Uh, it needs to move a tiny tad that way, I think. That's cock. Can I say that on YouTube? 
Well, I just did. Anyway, um, <laughs> get those lined up, and then get that in there like that. Come on, no snappage, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to need to trim some of this, but... Yep, as I thought, I cut the track and I've glued the track to the bottom of each road wheel and drive wheel with Tamiya. And what I'll do when the lid of the tank goes on, I'll just set them in place with a bit of Tamiya and hope that the tank skirt covers up that cut. Because I couldn't see any other way of doing it. As you can see from there, it's about two or three lengths too short. But it's on, that's the main thing, and um, yeah, looking quite good. Whilst the um, tracks have been drying, I've taken the top section of the tank and I've added some little tiny bits while it's not to um, no, stuck to the tank basically. I did lose the, vis the driver's portal, so I've used a clear bit of clear sprue. I'll paint that in once it's dried, and uh, I think I look like a bit of a clear part on the tank. Done the gun. And I'll do some metal effects when it's all done. I've painted the tools on the side there. Not very well, but I have painted them. So now to join the two halves together. So use my revel. If it'll come out. Just a bead along there. And a bead along there. And it looks as though it just drops on. Like that. So just line it up. And drop it on. Excellent. New bottle of Revel. God knows how many years I've had the old one. So just to splodge either side. And then offer up the brocage plough, that's what I'm calling it anyway. And let that sit there for a couple of minutes and just go off. Putting the turret together now. We're getting there. A little blob on each of these little segments and then drop that piece into there I must say everything on this kit oh bugger everything, I mean oh crikey <laughs> everything on this kit seems to be fitting rather well because that is just a, that's a really good fit actually I'm impressed with that yeah, it's coming together nicely. Let that go off a bit. Carrying on with the turret. Some glue just on there. And fit that, taking note of the instructions, dips towards the bottom of the turret. Make sure I get the gun and that round the right way. That's on, again, very nice fit. Now apparently there's side plates to do, so starting with 21B. That's the last piece of the turret jigsaw in, he says as it falls out. <laughs> Right fit in the main gun to the turret and then turret to tank and I'm hoping that is that. I haven't got the eyesight for the little towing hooks and whatnot, so I'm going to have to give that a miss. I've, I've had struggle with these little guns and little lights and stuff on the front. There's no way I'm going to be able to get them on. Hands are just much too big and I just eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> So that's the gun on. I'll fit the turret and it'll be time for the big reveal. So there we go, 
my Audi Cromwell tank. I'm very pleased with it actually, it's quite good. I know I've missed off some small details, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> my hands are certainly not as steady as they used to be. But anyway, I really enjoyed that. It's a, it was a project to fill in the gaps between another project I'm working on, which I hope to uh, reveal soon. But anyway, hopefully you like the video, so give us a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers!